Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel with Mr. Jimmy, Lee and Aria. Today we've decided to do an introduction video so you guys can get to know us a bit more. So how well do you know us? Let's go. So guys, in this video we want to be as honest and open as possible. So you just sit back and enjoy. My name is Lee Mtani Wananitanga Shiro. Uh, my second born in the family of four. I was born in uh, Pumwani, grew up in Kayole, uh, Kiambu County, alafu Eldoret County as well. So I to El wa Eldoret, Chamunge, uh, Yomune, Yomune. And uh, basically went to school mostly in Kiambu County. My name is Peter Jimmy. I'm from Taita Taveta. I was born in uh, Void, Moy Hospital to be precise. And uh, I went to school mostly in uh, Taita Taveta as well. Uh, most of my younger age, I spent in Malindi. Um, yeah, that's more about Peter Jimmy, aka Ronaldo. What you are going to do here, Sisol, Taita Estate. <laughs> So um, I have lived in Nairobi, Nairobi to be precise, uko Githurai 44, Nairobi ni merandaranda yote but uh, the recent one was uh, 44 Githurai 44, uh, also job I was working at the Post World Corporation of Kenya until nikakuja Dubai. I lived in uh, Taita Taveta as well, uh, that is Motate to be precise, uh, Pole Makongeni, that is Taita Estate and I was working there. Um, let's say Nlikuwa Nyapara wa Makonge. That is, that is the best explanation I can, uh, I can give for now. Yeah. So me and this uh, Burukenge met uh, at a birthday party. I know most of the people have met in birthday parties, but our birthday party, that birthday party was a special one. That's where we met. So me and this sack of potato, <laughs> we met in, uh, <laughs> as you say, in a birthday party and it was especially one yeah so i came to dubai uh september 2017 september 2017 yeah so i first came to dubai and um it was in february 2013 uh, if i'm not wrong yeah that's some times back yeah Okay, so uh, coming to Dubai, my experience coming to Dubai was so easy because I had someone here, someone, <laughs> Mr. Cameraman was here already, so it was so easy for me. Sikupata hardship yoyote, it was just easy, easy. <laughs> so honestly, life was very tough in the beginning when I came. Um, yes, it was extremely tough. Yeah, that's all I can say for now. What do you mean? Story for another day. <laughs> Explain. No, story for another day. <laughs> so for me, honestly, uh, life in Dubai right now, I'd say for me, it's perfect. It's complete. Because when you are abroad, the most important thing for you is family. So for me, right now, I have my husband here, yeah. Jimmy. And we have our little pumpkin. So life is good. Life is good. Um, Life now... I will say it's okay. I will not say perfect. It's still okay. You know, when you're the provider, you have to <laughs> to see things differently. So yeah, it's okay. Uh, we are, actually, it's an improvement ever since I came here. So yeah, it's good, and we thank God for that. And I'm happy for the family, of course, as well. Of course. Wow, the most scary thing, I have several, but one stands out because I was alone in that moment. So this day, we met a job and we got a little bit uh, late to talk a kazi because it was a uh, school advance. And so I got to Tao around uh, 10, uh, going to 11. I don't know what got into my head, we came to Tembea from Tao to Ngara. So that time I was living my aunt, I was Parklands. So guys, you know from uh, Nairobi, from Tao to Ngara is just like a 15 or 10 minutes walk. So I decided to walk. So I met him, I met him, I met him. Pale Ivo, as you're going down, Karibu na Kirinyaga Road, Koiso stairs, and boom, what one of my little men took is there. Actually, I didn't even see the one that was in the back. I learned to move like a jambeleangu, and then the other guy was in the back. Nikashikwa, you know, it was getter. 
<laughs> you can get her. And that guy alikuwa amefunga mbao hapa na mbao hapa. So you can imagine the pain. Waka ni suffocate. Waka ni the one that was mbele yangu akani frisk. Akachukua simu. I had money now the advance money but ilikuwa kwa pocket. Kadogo you see those small pockets when you naingianga hivi na vidole. So they didn't even get the money. Wali I couldn't even breathe and in my head I was like it's 11 usiku. Hakuna mtu hapo and I was afraid wanaweza niingiza huko kwa you know how that area is mtu anajua Nairobi. I was so scared, I was so scared. So vile waliniachilia nilikimbia mbio mpaka ngara mguu mbio 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 mbio. mbio. So, uh, scariest thing, okay, there's a quite a number, but there is one of recent time. Uh, Majuzi to when Corona was Corona, so what happened is, um, and you report to two weeks, and then, um, Nika Kuam Gonjo, so Nika end up Fanya COVID test, and it turned out I was covid positive and then uh, eventually i had to do a test of uh, my wife and the kid and then guess what both of them they were positive the wife and a uh, little two weeks ariana so that for me was the scariest time but we overcome everybody now is as you can see amazing wow the best thing that ever happened to me mama the best thing that ever happened to mama is uh i'd say that it's being here being here with jimmy with this baby here i'd say that the best thing that i have ever done in my life is saying yes to him <laughs> saying yes to him was the best thing that i've ever done in my life the best thing okay so the best thing that ever happened to me honestly i think is not giving up on my wife it's a long story again it's a story for another day but yeah she's the best thing that ever happened to me and now ariana is here uh now she's the most best <laughs> 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 and yeah I, lo I love my family so much so yeah we love you too daddy <laughs>